this uh, tracky uh, with a video on some of my most used OS X applications. So let's get right with it. Uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 is an application by Adobe that helps you edit web development uh, files such as HTML files, PHP files, CSS, JavaScript, stuff like that. Fireworks is an alternative to Photoshop. Uh, it's a really good image editor. Personally, I think it's actually better than Photoshop. Uh, Flash Builder helps you build Flash movies, Flash animations. Uh, Photoshop, everyone knows what this is. Great image editing software, although I prefer Fireworks. Uh, the App Store that came with the OS X 10.6.6. .6. Uh, app Defender is an app that I really like. Basically, it allows you to protect, password protect your applications from being opened. So you have to insert a password to actually open your selected applications. Uh, Asphalt 6, a video game made by GameLoft. Audacity is a music editor, an audio editor. Uh, Babyproof is a really good application. Basically, it um, disables your keyboard and your mouse. So basically, as the, hence the name Babyproof, um, basically, if you have a kid around or something and you're watching a movie, the kid can't mess around with your keyboard and your mouse and mess up your movie. So uh, <clears throat> the only way to disable it would be to type in a key code that you set. BitTorrent is a torrent program. Everyone knows what this is. Uh, Black Hell to make sure Mac tree in black and it works with multiple screens, so it's a good power saver. Uh, Blitzen's a chess engine. Bodega shows you some of the best applications for the Mac. Uh, Caffeine disables, it overrides your uh, screensaver preferences so that your Mac will always be active. Uh, Capo is another really good music editing, audio editing software, although this time it costs money, I think it's $20. Uh, Chopper 2 is a game. Clean My Mac is helps you clean your Mac, I guess. It removes the unwanted files that you have. Code Blocks, um, it basically saves snippets of code for multiple programming languages. Daisy Disk is a really good application as a visual, visual representation of your disk. So you can see if any one place on your disk is taking up a lot of space. Uh, let's see what's next. Double Pane. Double Pane is a really good application. It's from the Mac App Store and it helps you organize your window space. So you can basically set for the application to take up half of your screen or the whole screen and you can also restore it. Dropbox is for sharing our files. It's a free program. Evernote is also free. It's for taking notes. Uh, Evon is a movie converter. Uh, FaceTime, everyone knows what that is. Fazer is an FTP client. It may not be the best one for Mac, but I used it often when I was still on Windows, and it helped me out a lot. Finale Notepad is a music composition software. This is the 2009 version. Uh, this is Reader. Firefox, everyone knows what that is. It's a web browser. Fireplace shows the Fireface on your on your Mac. Flash Frozen is an application that if you're, if a flash is taking up too much RAM, then you can disable it. Flock is a social web browser. Fluid helps you create your own Mac web applications. Flux, uh, show, Flux adjusts your screen based on your location and the daylight's uh, settings. So it basically helps you make your screen the... It, Builds it. it basically helps you make your screen similar to like what's the condition outside based on the sun. Um, GarageBand comes with the Mac OS. Google Chrome is a browser, everyone knows what that is. Grappler helps you download YouTube videos. Green Poison, and this is another version of Green Poison that's used for jailbreaking lower OS's. Uh, I mean, lower firmwares. Uh, this is for jailbreaking. ICC, that's an internet chess club. Um, iFreeMem helps you remove free up your memory. iPhone Explorer uh, shows you, helps you uh, view all your iPhone, iP iPad, iPod Touch files. Uh, let's see, iStudies Pro, this one's $10 on the Mac App Store. 
Uh, it syncs with iStudies Pro on your iPod, on your iOS, and it's basically a homework manager. Um, what else is there? Keep Your Word. Keep Your Word is a good flashcard tool for the Mac. Keynote, that's basically PowerPoint. Liquid Mac, Liquid Mac is a pretty cool application for um, basically it uses the math accelerometer and creates some pretty cool effects. Log me in, allows you to access your Mac from a different a remote location. Um, Mac Lock Me helps you, uh, it basically sends you back to the login screen, but it actually keeps your session running. Uh, main menu is a really good application that sits on the menu bar that helps you provide pro, helps you do a variety of tasks. MAMP gets you your own server, your own home server. Marvel Wham is a game. Mars Edits a blogging software. Mix is a free DJ software. Mobile mouse allows you to uh, control your computer from your iPod as a trackpad. Name Changer is a good software for renaming applications and files and stuff. Never go and never put R2 games. Uh, Nocturne inverts the screen, the colors on your screen. Basically, it turns it into a black and white screen, I guess. Numbers is basically Mac's version of Excel. OkaWix is an application that you can download the entire Wikipedia dump to. Pages, that's basically Microsoft Word, Pages, Arcades, the Game, Pathy River, Pathy Wall, Games. Uh, Red Snow is a jailbreak software. Reader is a software that's used for, that syncs with Google Reader. Relax is a software with Subi Music. Uh, Rivet allows you to access your iTunes library from an iPod or iPhone or iPad. Uh, but I don't think it works very well, it hasn't worked very well for me, and it seems to not have worked very well for many people. Um, Screeniums, what I'm using to record this, it's a uh, recording software. Shredder 12 is a chess engine. Sightsucker allows you to download a website. Sketch of Pro is a really good software, it's like uh, another image creating. Skype is for video chatting and social connecting, social networking. Soundstage is used for creating previews of your application that you're developing. Spirit's another jailbreaking software. Steam is basically the iTunes for games. Stuff at Expander allows you to expand files. It's what I use to expand almost all my files. Uh, Tidy Songs helps organize your iTunes library. To Do's shows all your Mac applications. Total Finder brings tabs to your Finder, like for example, here are my tabs. Transmit's another really good FTP client. This is Twitter, everyone knows that. Tunes helps you tweet your music. Typist is a typing um, helper, typing tutor. Uh, Unitron is what I use to actually edit the Keep Your Word files when I'm importing them. This is just an extension to my utilities folder. BLC Media Player is another really good media player that plays a lot of different media. Uh, Watts helps you manage your battery life. Wesnoth, the battle, battle for Wesnoth is a game that's for the iOS. It's also made for Mac. Uh, App Tamer is an application that's used to manage the CPU space, I mean the RAM that each application is taking up. Uh, photo stamps like a watermark thing and tutu is not very good. I don't like it, but it's a to-do manager, but I'm deleting this one And it requires me a password So just leave it to two so yeah, these are my applications um, if you would like to know more about any application, feel free to leave a comment and I'll provide you with that information. And yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any applications you'd like to actually suggest to me, I'd be glad to take suggest suggestions as I'm still looking for good apps to help uh, improve my productivity on my Mac. Uh, and that's about it. Just subscribe if you like my videos, rate, and comment. Thanks.